hello everyone welcome to my channel i am Tini banjo today i'm going to be showing you guys how i make this intense detox smoothie for cleansing your bowel so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching today i'm starting off with kale i'm just going to cut the stalk area is this stalk or stem or i don't know what it is just the thing in the middle I'm going to cut that part away because you don't need it in your smoothie you only need the leaves or the leafy part in your smoothie so that it blends properly and you're able to digest it properly also so for this recipe I'm using kale mint leaves cucumber ginger garlic apple cider vinegar and um, lemon lemon um, the inside of the lemon so I'm cutting the um, stalk of the other one so that both of my kale is only leaves and that is all I'm going to be using for this smoothie. Next I am going to start washing up my mint leaves and I'm just going to take out the leaves inside it um, into the bowl, this clean bowl that I have here. That's where I'm transferring all the leaves that I'm going to use. That's where I'm transferring everything to. So this is the lemon I'm going to use. I'm going to use only half of that you are seeing. So I'm going to cut this up and try and remove the seeds from it because if you put the seeds in it by mistake or on purpose, you're going to have a bitter smoothie. The seed is only going to make it bitter. So I just want the citrus part or the places that have the pulp in it. That's the only part I want in my smoothie so i'm just going to try and remove the seeds remove the back or the zest of the lemon and just try to pieces this out and take out the seeds as much as i can So it's just the same thing I'm going to do or keep doing and repeating throughout this process taking out the seeds and then just putting the pulp into my blend next I'm going to cut my cucumber finely just slices and I want this to be a lot because this is going to give me enough juice because of the inside that has you know this um, soft watery seeds so I'm going to put enough and also because of the flavor cucumber gives I'm going to cut enough of this into my smoothie next I'm going to clean up my ginger and if you haven't heard a spoon is best used to peel up your ginger rather than a knife so I'm going to use my spoon to peel my ginger and then use my knife to further cut it into little bits so it blends in my blender finely even as much as I try to make it you know small so that it blends finely you see what I ended up with 
Next, I'm going to add one clove of this garlic. This garlic clove is quite big, so I'm fine with it. Instead of cutting up two or three, so I'm going to use one big clove of this garlic and just you know pieces it or dice it into my blend. So this is what I have here and this is what I'm going to be blending up in my blender as my smoothie. I'm also going to put in um, apple cider vinegar into my blend. So this is the one with the mother that I always use, the Bragg's original raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar. I'm going to put about a tablespoon into my smoothie. So I'm transferring this now into my blender and once it is pretty much inside i'm going to pour water inside the um my smoothie this is about what is about 20 cl of water into my smoothie and of course one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar into my smoothie also I just use my eyes to gauge it don't be like me please use a spoon don't be um, don't be lazy like me and again like I said I use my eyes to gauge it it's kind of accurate so <laughs> but if you can't um, gauge it with your eyes like me please use a spoon so I'm going to try as much as possible to blend this smoothly so that when I'm drinking it it goes down you know seamlessly without any hurdles without any barrier and it is smooth going into my truth so i'm as like i said earlier i'm going to try to make this very very smooth so this is like a second blend and then transfer this into my cup which I'm going to drink from. This is my Starbucks cup, the one that has a straw. Drinking from this cup is very easy, so this is one I want to So, I've, so I've blend, I've blend, <laughs> what's the past tense of blend, <laughs> please? So I blended this already and I want to drink it. Although this is not my first time of having this, my cousin has given this to me before and the day I drank it, I knew something went down in my stomach. So my hair is kind of rough at the moment. I'm supposed to make a heavy video, but I'm tired. So I will give this a try again. I'm supposed to finish this whole bottle on an empty stomach for three days. That is the purpose of the intense detox. So, <laughs> and it's always best to have this in a bottle or a cup with the straw so that you can just connect the straw, you know, towards your throat and when you just you know take a sip it goes straight down you don't have to taste it your mouth doesn't have to do so much work it's not even bad honestly I thought it was I thought it was going to be bitter but it's not bad <laughs> I'm tasting everything I put inside so give this a try so I'm pretty much done taking the juice part, like what is left now is the thick part where you have to do a lot of chewing before you can get it down your stomach and I don't think I'm down for that and it's about 5 minutes later and I'm feeling a very very, you know, very very heavy pressure to go to do number 2 so that's why it's called intense detox so this is just going to clean up your bowel <laughs> like i always say clean up your bowel clean up your gut for three good days on an empty stomach that should be the first thing in the morning so if you do try this out let me know in the comment section down below and if it's your first time here and you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe <laughs> subscribe to my see i can't talk very well because of how pressed i am so kindly subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and i'd love to see you in the next one you're about to click on so let's go